Hey, what's up, everybody? Dorn Aldana here, coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And today I've got a very special treat for y'all. The one, the only, Jelani Dorsey. And we're coming at you raw and real here on this Facebook Live, straight for you guys and our podcast listeners. And we're going to talk about how Jelani Dorsey turned his annual income into his monthly income. No joke. You're about to hear all about it. Turned his annual income into his monthly income, all in the purchase market while rates were going up, not down, I might say, and without making a single cold call, not a single cold call. So if you guys think that that is hyperbolic and hyped up and there's no way any human being on the mortgage business can do that. You better stay tuned because you're about to hear the real deal from Jelani Dorsey himself. So Jelani, thanks for hanging with me today, brother. This is going to be fun. Yep, absolutely, man. Honor, pleasure. Um, and I'm glad you invited me on. Hey, I'm beyond blessed, man. Super stoked to be on the journey with you. And it's been, it's been about, uh, let's see, it's been January, February. So we're about three months in, technically two and a half. Two and a half. Three. Three. We'll call it three just to kind of round it up. <laughs> sure. And uh, it's been rubber to the road for two and a half at this point. So it hasn't been much time that you landed your rocket on Planet Prosper. And, uh, you know, obviously it seems crazy to think that, you know, you come so far in such a short period of time. But we've got a story to tell. And it is a true story indeed. So why don't we start off just sharing a little bit about your background. Uh, sure. What inspired you to get in the, the business? How long have you been in the business? And uh, where are you located? Kind of give a little bit of background on who you are and where you're from. Sure. Absolutely, man. So the name's Jelani Dorsey. Um, I'm in the Ohio marketplace. Uh, background for me, um, I actually have um, I was about 10 years in the finance industry. I uh, got a chance to work an intern at a hedge fund because um, I like investing. It gave me the bedrock and foundation and the skill set to understand the nuances, whether it be short term trade and long term trade and, um, and longer term holds, learn how to do that. Um, and then I transitioned uh, to working in the education field because my parents are actually retired doctors. I mean, they taught um, college um higher education. So kind of just landed in a, like an admissions and an enrollment job, um, heading up the middle school enrollment for one of the larger charter schools in um, the greater Cleveland area. Uh, did that uh, for some years, probably about eight years I did that for, just because it was simple. You know, when you get a check, simple salary, right. predictable every, you know, every couple of weeks. So was there, but I knew that I wanted to do more. My fraternity brother, um, who actually I pledged with in uh, college, um, he's actually one of my best friends. So he was actually in the real estate and mortgage industry, killing it. For, he's been doing it over 16 plus years. And he was always kind of dripping on me like, hey, man, you right. really need to come, you know, work with me, like work with me. You'll be a partner. You'll have equity. It wasn't just a regular sales MLO right. loan officer. And he was going to bring me on board as a legitimate partner. And he kept dripping on me. So what he did, I was like, yeah, yeah, I thought I was doing also I, I was in sales. So I did. I was running a direct sales company also while I was working my full-time job. So I acquired sales skills or basic decent sales skills. So he was, I just thought I was going to do my thing there. And I was like, I'm going to, I'll beat you. I'll show you. But he kept showing me his <laughs> checks. I mean, I made the decision. I'm like, I'm going to work with you, man. And so. Yeah. Want too many check stuffs. <laughs> yeah. I, but not the checks with commas though. The, the yeah. Big ones, zeros commas and commas. Like, Plenty you know, of like, like, yeah, yeah. I was like, what's that? It's a, it's a squiggly thing. It's two of them. Like, huh? <laughs> Never so, seen that okay. before on a check. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like seen, that. Seen, yeah, I've seen a comma. The problem is I got to get my name on that check instead yes. of yours, right? <laughs> and then we need two commas to, to, to make sure it's it's all shakes out. So um, with that, um, I transitioned into the mortgage industry um, as a partner, working with my fraternity brother. Got the mortgage banking license, did the 20 hours, the class. And, you know, it's it's really it was really hard to, to, to actually get the mortgage license because me not mm -hmm. being in the industry, it's 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 tough just to get in the field. I mean, I mean, back before yeah. pre 2008, you know, that uh, anybody with a pause, you could could get a could do mortgages, but highly regulated. You got to have a mortgage banking license. And so it's Very different times. Yeah. You know, so how so, long you been in now? How long you been in the mortgage game now? Uh, it was one year in March, so I've only been involved wow. one full year. One full That's year, mm -hmm. brother. 
and how far you've come just in the last three months. It's just crazy. Yeah. So yeah, let's let's talk about that. I mean, sure, I know it's still- like a world of difference. You know, like you're in a whole different world now in March than you were in mm-hmm. December. It seems inconceivable that so much could change in such a short period of time. But that's your life, and True. we're here to tell your journey. So why don't we start before you landed on Planet Prosper when you're still sure. stuck spinning your wheels in suffering, strife, and stress on in stress city, so to speak. And uh, you love know, the alliteration, <laughs> right? Yeah, man. We're gonna love drop it. it. We might as well drop it right. So here you are now, December. I think it was early December. We talked, if I recollect correctly. Yeah, I believe we got, yeah. we got on a call, and we're just kind of getting real with where you're at. And that paints a picture of where you were then. But let's take even a few steps back prior to that, before sure. you even reached out for help, because it was a bit like a crock pot, you know, it was, it was a bit like a pressure cooker and it was getting hotter by the day as the pressure was mounting and the frustration was mounting and all that. Sure. So what was it like on the front lines of capitalism in the real world on hundred percent commission, you eat what you kill with no safety net in struggle city? Uh, what was some of the pain points, the, 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 the deepest, most aggravating pain you were feeling on a day-to-day basis before you reached out to me and we connected? Why don't we start there? Um, Sure. I would say, because I mean, commission is great. You know, my first, because it, there's a, there's a learning curve because you're in a new industry. So literally before I got my first check, it was 90 days. So three months, it was actually three months and some change. I got my first check. Right. How did and, you, how did you got paid? And, I was like, oh. and, and it was nice though. Cause it's a learning curve. People just think you come in, it's not, it doesn't work that way. I mean, there's, oh. it's literally a 90 to a hundred 80 day learning curve. And I still, i sometimes I feel like I'm like, I still don't know what the heck I'm, you know, I'm doing. Right. And, you know, but it's so <laughs> many nuances. I mean, this mortgage is this, this mortgage industry and real estate in general is so vast, but yeah, it was struggling. And then I hit my first check. Um, but then sporadic, you don't know where the deals are going to come from. And trying to work your personal network and thank God I have a, a, a network of people that already respected me um, at least well enough to when I pick up the phone and have a conversation with them, they're not looking at me like they're like, oh, well, you know, we'll listen to you objectively. So just trying to work my current network and kind of build relationships with realtors, just using what I already knew, the skills that I had um, mm-hmm. to try to put some things in place. But the loans and the income is unpredictable. So that yeah. put me in a tough situation. I mean, thank God I know how to save ahead. I'm like, this is commission July. So the check is nice, but like, you got to put some money away just in case, you know, it yeah. gets tight. And I literally, there's months where I blanked where I was like, man, I ain't close any loans. And I'm like, good thing I put the money away or I would have, I'd you have made it eat. happen. But, man, not eating. You got to eat what yeah. you kill. So just, it's the up and downs, not being able to have a predictable system that's in place to, to know exactly what you're going to do. Yeah. And meanwhile, you know, you got it in your heart to be the dragon slayer for your family. You know, you got a beautiful lady in your life. You know, you want to be the sugar daddy. You want to make, bring home the bacon. And here you are having blanks where literally nothing all month, not a single penny be earned. And, you know, you're you're in it to win it. And yet you're not seeing the results. Tell us about the some of the darkest moments and some of the most painful plight experiences you had going through that as you're in Struggle City trying to make this thing work. So obviously me being the leader of the household, because I don't, I mean, my, my woman, she makes good money, whatever good money is, you know, but for the Midwest, if you can make 75 or 80 K a year, you're doing okay. It's just as long as you're not right. blowing it. But um, I mean, 80 K in New York, you'd be, in, you'd be in poverty stricken, but I'm in the Midwest. So <laughs> right. you, can um, afford, you can afford to make 80 K and still live. All right. Yeah, right, right, right. right. Exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but all that to say is that, so when you're the breadwinner and you have to ask your lady to pay the house note, and bills that I've know that I should that I sh- that I've taken the responsibility to take on hell or high water, even though that she can do it or do the 50 50 split. I'm just like, look, if you're a man, like, look, man, take care of the bills, man. Take care of the bills. It's not that hard. It's just like step up, be a man. So I'm taking care of majority of bills. I'm not paying all her stuff. You know, she's an adult. She's, you know, but like you got a house note, you know, it's, it's like, dang, like, where am I going to come up with the money for the house note? I got to go, Hey babe, can you pay the, can you pay the, the house note this, this month? That's it's, it's, it's kind of embarrassing. I mean, I could cover myself like for bills and stuff, but it's, you're scraping by, man. 
it's like, God damn, the bear, most embarrassing part is to ask my lady to pay for something that I committed to doing. Yeah. And I'm the, and we have a little child as well. So, you know, with that, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not fun, man. It's not yeah. fun. So that would say that's, that's kind of like a dark day. Like you're like, up, oh, didn't close anything this month. Where's the money going to come from? And then you look up and you're like, Hey babe, can I, you know, can you, you pay the mortgage? You know, like a be like, what? It's like, I felt emasculated. Yeah, Honestly, yeah, that, was the, that was the, that was, that was it. And any dude who's been there, done that, you know, who's got, uh, the heart to be the warrior for the family that, that hurts. I mean, I've been there and that, that is a serious kick in the nuts mm -hmm. and it is emasculating, you know, it does, t it, it takes its toll on your manhood mojo and your swagger factor and your, your self respect. Right. There's no doubt about it. Yep. And so, you know, you, you can't take too many of those before, you know, you're going to hit a breaking point. Anybody who's, you know, try to get the 747 off the runway, starting from scratch in the mortgage business, you only have so much runway before you get chewed up and spat out and you have to, you know, stick your tail between your legs, admit defeat and failure and go back to the day job with nine to five yeah. prison, you know, and Never that. so that's a rather foreboding uh, precipice to be, you know, coming closer by the day. Tell us about that. What was that like for you knowing you only had so much runway to work with to get this thing going? And there's only so many times you can be asking the, the girl <laughs> to cover the, the house note. And uh, every time it happens, it's, you know, bringing more self-doubt and more fear and more, you know, more right. of a swagger factor getting kicked out from underneath you. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about that just in terms of like that precipice that was looming for you. Well, the thing is, is that it's like, you're not going to have too many more of them days. It's just like, mm -hmm. it's like, you're, it's like something has to give mm -hmm. and like no bullshit. It's just like, Cause in mortgages, you can have a great month. Like even before our, the time before I spoke with you, that November was an amazing month. Yeah. Whatever amazing may you be. You did like four deals like, or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Four deals. Right. <laughs> yeah, four deals. But the thing is, is that it was still more than I had made for my check, but that it's, it's goes up and down. You know what I mean? And so with that, it's like, I knew I'm like, this is a decent month for me, but I knew like, where's the, the, I don't have anything lined up after this. Yeah, where it's it's done. Cause I, it's, so it's, it's the back and forth. It's the good month, the bad month, the good mm -hmm. month, the bad month. It's like, I have a system. I kind of don't, I do, you know? So it's like, you know, sorry guys, I didn't want to look, you know, you look over somebody's talking about a clear to close. Hey, <laughs> sorry I guys. Another you one. Know? Yeah. Imagine that they just keep popping. So right? you know we're more just no disrespect to the audience. That's, you know you got the email cool. up. Some more paper you know? coming in, baby. Yeah, you know, just always going. Hmm? Okay. Yeah, that want to get your attention real quick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna turn that off, man. It's gonna keep binging at you and dinging at you the whole time through here. Four hundred k deal. So I'm like, hmm. Nice hmm? getting paid so, on yeah. that. But yeah, so just yeah, all that to say to bring it back, man. Never want to have to ask your lady to do anything for you. No. Just be for yourself, because if I was by myself, then what am I gonna? I mean, yeah. it's only so many times you can go to mommy and daddy nope. for money, like, you, and and then it's just like, dude, I'm in my mid thirties. Like, it's like you it looks like you don't have life together when you, yeah, you know what I mean. So, yeah, and so there's a lot of different th th things factoring in here. There's promises you made that, you know, by hell or freaking high water, you want to keep and yet you're not able to keep. And so now it's like, you know, going backwards, uh, drawing from the bank of, of the misses. And that ain't nothing nice. It ain't nothing nice for the swagger factor factor. It ain't nothing nice for the intimacy department. It ain't nothing nice for the self tech. And then of course, you know, we got mm -hmm. a kid to feed and we're looking at the pipeline and it's looking rather anemic because here you are now you've hit the point of diminishing returns with your personal network. You know, you've been pushing, squeezing on that fruit for the last few months. And now it's like, you know, you've hit the point of diminishing returns where there's not much left to squeeze out of it. And you're looking right. at the pipeline thing, where are these next deals going to come from? Oh, that pipeline. How, how am I going to pay the bills? How am I just going to survive, let alone thrive? And some of you who've, uh, you know, launched into this thing on 100% commission, most of you, if not all of you, you know what that feels like. It's rather foreboding to say the least. So tell us now about kind of where, what you were doing to try and bring in business. You're calling family, you're calling friends. Sure. You're trying sure. to wrangle some business to your personal network. 
what were some of the things you were being told by your your fraternity brother, you know, who's mm-hmm. kicking ass and taking names and he'd been in the Killing business it. for 15 years or whatever. And the stuff that worked for him 10, 15 years ago, obviously it's a different world now. So what were so, some of the things he was telling you to do that you were trying and not, you know, getting the kind of results you were hoping for? So, yeah, I mean, someone who's, you know, when someone's been in the industry as long as they have, it's, it's, it's things just have a tendency to come easy. They can self-generate, um, their name is out there. Um, and it, and it wasn't bad advice. It was just more so like a 30,000 foot view or but, outdated, maybe Yeah, this outdated, but then just kind of like, it's just a lot. I mean, because he would send me leads too. He sends leads. He connects me with realtors, but it's just like looking at someone who brought me on board as a partner who I respect and trust. It's like, I don't want to. I don't want to, Hey, you have another, do you have another leader? Like he just, it's just, you know, like even though he was sending them cause he took care of me, man, I'm not going to say he didn't, but the first, the reason why I got deals is because he's the man he right. took care of me. He's his name is out there. He's the one who connected me with his realtor partners. He's the one that threw me his leads. So even though those first few checks that I got, they were from him. Right. You know what I mean? And so those relationships are established. And so, even though I was working with realtors that he connected me with, I didn't have an establish, establish myself as an authority. Um, so that was kind of just like, oh, you're the new guy. But and then also I just made a list of everyone I knew um, firstly. So I'm not stupid. So I know how to do sales. Um, so made a list of everyone that I know. Um, and then also what, what else? I made a list of all the realtors that I knew, probably like 12 or 15 of them that I knew that respected me enough to say, Hey, look, I'm coming into the new industry. I have my license shortly. Like, like let's connect. But the right. th- thing that I learned is that when you tell people you're new, nobody wants to work with the new guy, man. They yeah, don't. I don't, I don't know why nobody. they don't want to do they don't want to work with a new guy who's going to fumble the ball, right? Yeah, that's what it is. And that was the thing. And in the beginning, I was going to brokers opens like, hey, you know, I'm going to brokers opens just to, just to have right. I had a realtor who would print the list up for us. And I'd go to brokers opens every Tuesday and just pick the ones in my area, just introduce myself to realtors and say, Hey, how you doing? You know, I'm, yeah, I'm the new guy in the area on the East side, the new guy, the new guy, the new guy. Don't forget to tell them that, right? <laughs> no, never here. Quick tip. I know you didn't ask for, but do never, ever tell someone you're the new guy, like leverage the firm. So once I learned that, you know, I started leveraging the success of the firm mm-hmm. and, but that's, that's a different conversation. Um, but, you know, but all that to say is that those are the struggles, the, um, the new guy. Um, and then when you build your network, um, it's like, it's like, you have to call and have a conversation with a friend. So it's like hour long phone calls just to say, Hey, look, just want to let you know I'm in mortgages now. If you know anybody buying or selling, da, 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 da. you know, and then yeah. I'm new to it. So I'm new to them. And then my realtors that I knew, it's like, Oh, great. Oh, awesome, man. Well, I'm new to them. But but they respected me enough. I'm like, yo, give me a shot, man. Like it's like almost like you had to beg for deals. Like yo, get, put me to the test. Give me a right. shot. But that's that's the those are the the headaches that come along with that. But don't ever tell anyone that you guy borrow the success of somebody. Don't lie. But you know, like yeah. it's like, hey, I'm how long you been in real? Yeah, well, t- t- my me and my fraternity brother that 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 are that own the firm over here. We've been in business for 16 plus years, and you know, collectively. Right done you know you borrow the success of others and that's right that was a first shift but yeah so you know you it's the classic newbie mistake right yeah Uh, disclosing information you don't need to disclose and not supporting your credibility uh and of course you know this is a very common mistake so welcome to the club right but you know you tried the open houses you tried the uh you know the uh reaching out to family and friends you try to get your friend realtors to give you a shot. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you also tried cold calling realtors as well, true? Yeah, I, I did, but I stopped that real quick. Like, I mean, when I mean cold <laughs> call, like you see a number on the side, they're like, hey, how you doing? This is Jelani Dorsey from Gold Star Mortgage Financial Group. Just saw your listing on the side here. Just wanted to introduce myself. Click. Click, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, like, I mean, how do you know I wasn't even the loan officer on the deal that right. you typically work with? Like, right. but it's just like, and, and and so just doing a few of those, but even then, like, you don't want to do that, but you know, you're a sales guy, you got to make it happen, but it's not comfortable to have cold, cold realtors. Like, Hey, it's, it's stupid. It's dumb. It's just like, I'm tired of kissing their ass. Like, and then they don't give you a chance. You're like, you know, you're going to have to, 
and then you go through all these hoops just to I'm like, then you send me a you send me someone who has a 200 credit score. So I get all your <laughs> and I'm getting See all the can, Right. See if you can resurrect that. Yeah, give more that a you guys you, you so now you, when you, they do give you a shot, you, the credit is 200 and, and right. they, they've saved two cents over the last 10 years. Yeah, and you're the last <laughs> resort loan officer. Right, yeah, right. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Hey, Let's see if so, I can thanks so much. See if I can strap some wings on this bad boy and make it fly. Right. Make it a bode well. No. And so, yeah, so you've gone through the full quagmire of uh, being initiated Correct. into this crazy business, doing it the hard way, the whole, the whole nine. And so tell us about, you know, right before you get with me, you know, you're kind of at your last straw trying to figure out how to make this thing work. In, in the cul-de-sac of frustration, spinning your wheels, staring your rather anemic pipeline in the face every day, wondering <laughs> how you're going to get this thing to turn around. Tell us about, you know, in the, the deep reservoir of, in the secret chasm of Jelani's mind and heart, what was really at stake here for you? You know, before you reached out, obviously you're kind of getting to the point where you're like, you got to dig deep to find a way to, to make this work. And what was really at the heart, what was at stake for you that was getting you to just rise up defiantly to find a way to make this thing work? So when you have it, so the, way, the thing about uh, mortgage is when you're in the business, like the th before I reached out to you, I had a great month. Yeah. And so but I'm like, oh, no, 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 we're not going to do this ish again. Great months are followed by 90 days of nothing. I, I right. knew this. So it's like great month, nothing. Great month, nothing. Okay month, yes, you know. And, and so I had a good month. I'm like, this is gonna be a great Christmas, everybody. But I was like, I'm like, but dude, my January, it's like, dude, there's nothing in the pipeline. So I knew before I reached out to Dorn that I was like, no, we're not doing this again. It was just like, we're not gonna do the good month, bad month thing. Good month, no money month thing. Right. We're not doing that. So. I was like, and here's the thing. It's funny because you're, I, 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 I caught on to you because it was an ad on Facebook. Right. That's how I was. I'm just scrolling because, you know, like you see everybody's pitching you leads. I mean, my God, LinkedIn, you get all leads, 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 this, leads, that, leads, this, leads, that, leads, this, leads, right. that. I'm like, okay, maybe it's the leads. Do I need leads? Got to get leads. Numbers. We are in a numbers game, by the way. Mm -hmm. So I kept scrolling. I kept scrolling. It's like literally like this. I saw Doran's face. <laughs> oh, mortgage marketing coach. Oh, this. And I cannot, but this, this ball headed dude just path. keeps showing up. Ball headed on my dude. Feed. I'm like, looks like he could be my brother. So I, I don't know. I know he's got Maybe those, I should give him the benefit of the doubt. Right, he always, he's got always looks like my brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I know. I'm like, I don't know. He's too clean cut. His eyes are, he's got blue eyes. I don't know. How can you right. resist? How can you resist you know? this bald head? Come on, uh, now. <laughs> uh, you know, the one thing I like about your ads are that they don't have like a thousand and a million and one. There's like oh, a thousand people like it. A thousand people love this. A thousand people want to do this. It's like it was like a solid. It was a realistic number. It didn't seem like some bot, some stupid bot ad or some clickbait. It, you know what I'm saying? You had a nice chunk like, uh, you know, 30 likes, 40 likes, legit comments. And I started looking at that. I'm like, and it said mortgage coach. I was like, oh, no, coach, mortgage coach. I mean, I got a coach over here. I'm like, and so I'm scrolling. I'm like, eh, whatever, man. And then just one day it was like, it was like, I think it was before Christmas. And I'm just like, let me see what this dude is talking about, man. So I clicked the what ad. What do I have to lose? Yeah, what do I have to lose? That's what it was. That's what it always was. What do I have to lose? Free consultation. In my head, I'm like, I know this is going to cost something. I'm not stupid. You know, but, right. but here's to note to everybody out there. You got to pay to play and the best people charge what they're worth. If anybody's telling you you can get something for free or they can do this or it's cheap, only $400 and you'll make a half a million. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Junk, yeah. junk, junk, junk. I've done too much. Listen, I've, I've been sold at my salesman, but I've always been sold everything because I just like to see what's out there. And so I was like, let me get a free call. And I was like, hmm two hours. I put it in the thing. I'm like, what's, what's a phone call? I was like, yeah, whatever he's selling, I don't have the money anyway for it right now. I got to pay bills on Christmas and I'm put it in. And then it, 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 you go through the thing and it was real detailed. I was like, oh, there has to be a lot of questions. I'm like, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's what, something a good coach would do. It was different than the typical, like, it Please. wasn't like a 
Leads yeah, program, you know, please, right? please, 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 please. I have some crap leads. That'll get uh, you there, right? You know, <laughs> it's just funny. And I'm, and I'm elaborating because this is exactly how it happened. I put it in. I said, what have they lose? And it was like, oh, I got an hour with this dude? I'm like, they're going to talk to me for an hour, and I don't have to pay him anything. I'm like, okay, cool. And then they at the bottom, they make you, yes, I will commit to this time. So what it seemed like is I was like, yo, these guys aren't playing, and I felt kind of like fear of loss, like, they don't need me. I need them more than they need me. The thing with Dorn is, is that his main business isn't just coaching people on mortgages. It's he's doing the business himself. And then he's just turning into a coach because he sees a need in a, in a market that needs help. You know what I mean? With mm -hmm. the, So all that to say is that put it in. We had the call and the rest hey. is I'll, I'll well, tell you about the call, but, but the rest yeah. is history. And we'll talk more about the avalanche of awesome that unleashed yeah. after the call. But let's get back to the real nerve of the situation, because obviously, you know, if you want to make champion money. It ain't going to come from a chump level investment. No. And, uh, you know, if someone's going to hawk a $50 Rolex, you know, that suspect that ain't credible. For sure. And so, you know, good ain't cheap. Cheap ain't good. This is certainly no exception. Mm -hmm. And you already spoke to that. And so. You know, obviously you decided to say, screw it, let's do it. Feel your fear and do it anyways, because you're more committed to your dream than your comfort zone. But what was really at stake for you that had you decide to not only reach out for help, but also pull the trigger and invest in yourself? What was the the most, uh, shall we say, weighty consequence of you not making this work that was really the secret motivation behind you saying, screw it, let's do it? Hmm. Give me a second so I can absorb. So what motivated me was is that when when I talk to you, and we talk to my man, you can. I'm like I'm like what do I owe? Forty grand? Like I just I'm not gonna put it out there, but I just knew that the level and service that was provided just on the coaching call, I was like I, I don't have it. I know I don't have it. I, I, I was like I don't have it. And if, even if I did have it, I, I don't think I'd I'd give it because I need it because I need to save for six months because whatever. The motivating factor was, is, was, I was like, I, I cannot have this back and forth. I need consistency. I need to be able to have a system where I can consistently turn on a spigot and know what I'm going to do. Either I can turn it on and do this, or I can scale it back and I'll do this. So I didn't have any system in place. And the call after I, I was like, yo, I need this. I was like, yo, I gotta have this. So after the call, I was just like, and I'm a new guy. So I know some people may be, I don't know how seasoned you are or aren't or whoever's listening or the, the viewers, but I was brand new. And I was like, it was like the Holy Grail. I was just like, if I can get my hands on this, it's a done deal. I'm like, if what he is saying is true, and it was, and I'm not saying that I after the call, you can you can tell whether someone's sincere or they're not, or they're just trying to sell you or put a product on you. You can tell, like you can mm -hmm. tell, you know what I mean? And a good coach is not going to waste his time. So initially what, what was the driving factor was, was that I need this and it was the ticket out. I was like, this would help me with consistency. This would help me know exactly what I need to do to make consistent money. It was about the consistency and mm. increasing the deal flow and the pipeline flow and what have you. So it was yeah. more so the consistency and having a system. But the, 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 the catalyst was like, but what if I don't do this? It's like, I'm going to get more of the same. Mm. You know, I don't need yeah. to spend because people are just like, oh, I've been in the business 16 years, but you have one year repeated 16 times. Right. You know what I mean? People like experience. I mean, you know, you, you're the same person. You're just 16 years in. I didn't want to do that. Yeah. So I just, there was a fear of loss of like, I've never talked to any other coaching or mortgage program. I was just like, but I was like, if he is the low on the totem pole, then what's the best? I'm like, well, this dude seemed like a guy. I was like, I got to do it. I had to do it yeah. because it's so robust. I had to. I yeah. knew after the call, even if I, I, I couldn't afford it, I was like, oh, I will. Right. I will. That's, I, don't, that's I, what I, I, call. Will. I will. Yeah. And you hear that defiant resolve in Jelani's voice. That's the resolve of someone who's defiantly committed to a life change. When you just get sick and tired of being sick and tired of getting your ass kicked 
and you're ready to rise up and freaking win at the level you know you're called to and you're capable of, that's called defiant resolve, where losing is not an option. Buckling like cheap lawn furniture and backing down and sticking your tail between your legs is not an option. It's either win or freaking die. Yep. And obviously you got to that place, Jelani, and that's, you know, that was the white hot fire burning desire that propelled you ever since. So let's talk about that. Let's it's the lady about- sidebar. It's and also I got a lady, I got a right. child, and my lady wants a ring and a big one at that. You know, women they want the they they want it. And so I'm now just like, the real juice comes out. Now see you're holding out. I was like, man, I'm not gonna prod him. I'm not gonna prod Lady prod him, wants the ring. I have right. a child, and she wants a brand new house Boom. built from the ground up. Huh? Yeah. There's, huh? there's three blow torches at Oof. least under your ass right there, right? And yeah. you know you you know you're not gonna just show up like a chump and tell her we can't afford it, honey. That that ain't enough for freaking option. Told for the third right. month and ask for a, a note payment, like no, there's no juices flowing if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, in more ways than one. I 100 feel you on that, brother. And no money, no funny. And next thing you know, you got your tail between your legs. That'll that'll kick the snot out of your love life in a hurry. I've been there. I know what that feels like. So, you know, you you knew you needed to find a way to turn this around. Mm-hmm. You knew that you need to find a way to make some sugar daddy money so you can be king of the boardroom <laughs> and the bedroom, if you know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, I like right? that. Right. Oh, no, king of the board. I'm right. Sorry, dude. You and, got so much. Got <laughs> oh, look at back. this guy. This guy shows up coachable and committed. He's still taking oh, notes God, even on the you. podcast, even on a live podcast. He don't quit. This is one of the we- reasons why he's been kicking ass ever since. This guy's a sponge. But, I mean, that's really what you guys need to find is what's at stake for you? What's at stake for you to stay stuck in the purgatory of struggle city, doing the same old thing, getting the same old results for Jelani. It was the emasculation of not making the paper he needed to make to be provider and leader of his home and being the daddy and, you know, the, the man of the household he's called to be. And there's a lot of pain in that. And that just was unacceptable to him to over promise and under deliver unacceptable. You guys need to find out what's unacceptable for you. If you're going to create a breakthrough, you got to get to the point where you hit the, what I call the fed up threshold, where you just decide enough is enough. No more. I freaking had it. Cause truth be told, the good income ends up actually being the death rattle to great income. Good is always the mortal enemy of great. And so if you're comfortable, that's, a very seductive place to just settle for good, even though you're capable of great, because it's comfortable. You can sit on your laurels. You have the luxury of doing so because you're making better than most. You're doing pretty well. You're making better than an average income. And so if you're in your comfort zone, that is death rattle to you stepping up and living a champion life. That's death rattle to you stepping into greatness. Jelani didn't have that luxury. It was like, it's either do or freaking die. And so that was actually working in your favor, Jelani, whether you know it or not, and uh, whether you knew it or not at the time, that was definitely a huge blowtorch under your buns. So let's talk about the fear, because, I mean, even though you had this knowing that you had to do this and you had this knowing that your way wasn't working, let's get real. Chances are there was something on the call somewhere along the way. Chances are when we talked about investment, because I knew that I can help you. And I knew you're the kind of person I want to share my gift with. I want to help you. I can help you. And so we talked numbers. I told you, you know, what it's going to take to have you step up and make champion money. Tell us about the some of the fears that came up for you as you're about to pull out your credit card or find a way to get resourceful, whatever that looked like. What were some of the fears that crossed your mind as you're about to, you know, cross that bridge of fear and into your dream? Of course. The fear is here's the fear. So the fear was is that I knew what I after your call, I knew what this program was worth. I'm not dumb. So just for everyone on here, I've been sold everything. I'm a, I was a salesman. I've done it all. So I've seen it all. So I know BS scam. I know it all. All. After the call concluded, I was like, whatever it is for this program, I just don't have it. Initially, I was like, I don't have it. But then when we got to like, well, this is what we can do. I was like, hmm. So there was initial payment that I could afford the thing that I could afford. Um, but then it came to like, well, the, the, the big investment was 
like, well, well, I don't have it. Right. I was like, I was like, I, I don't have it, but it's like, when you told me, I was like, I think I can get that. Like, I'm pretty good. I was like, I think I can get that. Oh, in. Way. This is Miss Maya Rucker. She's actually um, an awesome senior. Say hi. She just stepped in the back. She's an awesome loan hello, officer. Hello. Uh, on the podcast. Hey, Maya. Um, no, you're fine. <laughs> it's all good. She's, you're famous now. You're, she's you're famous person. now, whether you like it or not. Right, you're famous. <laughs> yeah, that's, my, uh, that's his uh, sister. They actually, they, that's his sister. That's his older sister. So, okay, cool. There like older go. sister, little brother doing big. She, you know, she came on board. It took her a while too. So, but <laughs> get introduced to the family live. Here we yeah, go. Family business. Um, <laughs> yeah. So the fear was is that I was like, I don't have it. That was the big fear. I was like, I don't have what he's offering. But then when we scale down, like, this is what it is. This is what you need. I was like, well, I don't have that right now. So what you wanted initially to get it started, I was like, I don't have that. But then it was like, well, well, what can you do? Like, what can we, it was the conversation of what can we do today so I can lock it in? And then right. what is needed after that? So I was like, I had what we could do to th for that day. I was like, well, I got that. And then I was like, the other two, I was just like, I don't know. And then Doran, you know, he's, he's, he, he sets a task for you. Like, well, you know, like I was like, well, what happened? Well, where can you, if you don't have it, well, what can it's, you do? And I'm like, well, it's never a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resourcefulness. Right. It, that's what it is. It, it, it is. And, and you said that to me and I, you, the first, uh, no pushes for all the funding. Sorry, guys. Just gotta. When you, I love seeing funded. I need clear to, to close in funding. It's just popping yes. every yes. time those pop. It's more zeros and commas wow. dropping in your bank account. <laughs> I long got the fun doing. I got the fun. Clear to close. I hear, but that got the hey, fun. We're getting yeah. the live updates, y'all. This is hey, live and direct. Most deaf. Four hundred k deal. So all that to say is that um. So the fear was is like how am I going to come up with the other portion? Yeah. He's yeah, like, and you obviously found a way, right? You found I did, a way. I did. Talk, I just talked about it. Yeah, I did. You find it. You make it happen. That's it. The interested always find an excuse. The committed always find a way. And Jelani certainly walked the talk as the committed, not just the interested. So here you are, obviously, on the other side, moving from Struggle City to Planet Prosper. It's been two and a half months with the permanent zip code Man. now on Planet Prosper. And it's crazy to think it's only been two and a half months. I mean, I, I'm seeing your eyeballs light up every time you get dinged with another clear to close or a funded announcement in your inbox. And so let's talk what about happen now. Of course, it would happen right in the middle of a live. Right. Good, yeah, though. that's perfect. Money, that's, money. That's, it, it's, it's perfect that we're talking about you uh, sharing your story on how you've uh, landed on Planet Prosper and made your annual income, your legit monthly income. It's crazy to just say it. So it before you started to make that kind of bank, and it's only been two and a half months, we're not talking about a huge amount of time here. Tell us about, tell us about, you know, now you're on the inside, you're on Planet Prosper, and now it's time to get to work, roll up the sleeves and get to work. What are some of the things or maybe one or two things that we got you to do that was like, are you serious? Really? And there was kind of like skepticism, like, really? You really think that's going to work? What are some of the things that got you raising your eyebrows a little bit uh, as you started to get into the game of like, okay, it's go time? Um, well, I'm very coachable. So when I signed up in the program, I already knew that this would work and it's working and continues to work in because it's never finished, never is. But like the first call, like the, the, I was like, when we had to jump on the Monday, like you're like the Monday calls, money motivation. I was like, I don't need it. I was like, ah, oh, here we go. I was like, I don't need motivation. I'm already motivated. I have a kid. Like, right. Like That's all I need. <laughs> it's like you tell your kid to be all they can be and to do, and you, you're telling your children to do what they're supposed to do. But then you look at yourself like, well, are you doing all you can? Like, are you, so there's like, it's a tug of war. There's an integrity issue. And anybody that has integrity, like you just know, like, I mean, hell, I'm telling my kid, this is like, well, what are you doing to, 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 to max it out? So it was the cause for me because I'm real coachable. So I'm, right. but then also I pay for this program. So I'm like, God damn it, I'm doing everything you tell me to do because I was like, look, if this shit don't <laughs> work, like I paid. And then I was like, look, I'm doing everything. Right. Okay. Some money's 
different for certain people. For, for me, I was like, I ain't got it. So I'm doing it. If you tell me to breathe like this, and do, I'm doing it because I have to be coachable because people are like, oh, I signed up, but it doesn't work. Well, you're not listening. You're not coachable. I'm very coachable, but I was. Right. I'm like, I'm not, I don't. I, the thing was, is doing. I didn't need the mo- the more. I was like, I don't need motivation. I don't want to be on a right. Monday motivation. I'm like, damn, he's calls an hour and a half hour. I'm like, dude, twelve to one on a Monday. Monday's my busiest. That's how I get my week started. Like, what do you mean? Like, I don't want to jump on the call. I was scared. That that was where I was like, I don't need motivation, dude. Right. Like, I didn't, right. like that was it. That's the only one thing. I don't have two. I've yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, I don't have. A believe second. it or not, believe it or not, that is quite common. I mean, you're right. You're, <laughs> you've been absolutely exemplary in terms of how you're showing up, coachable, committed, being ready to empty your cup so we can fill it with your dream, taking massive action. You know, getting on the calls, asking questions, doing your celebrations, sharing celebrations on the Facebook group. I mean, you've been exemplary in Thank all you. of those respects. And even you, it was like, man, I got this mindset thing dialed in. I don't need this shiznit, but you still showed up, right? You still showed up. And that's, that's why you've been getting the results. And that's why the results are showing up because you're willing to do it, even though, you know, at first glance, it seemed like, really, I don't really need this. Come on now. I got my mindset on point. I don't need that shiznit. Come on now. I got that already dialed in. I was like, I don't need anybody to motivate me. I mean, right. Exactly. 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 And so, but then of course, on the flip side, you know, there's a whole lot of muscle building that comes out of those calls that you never would have thought had you not shown up. So tell us about some of the surprising results that you've got. We've already talked about, you know, the fact you turned your annual income into your monthly income in two and a half months. That's a fact. Tell us us about some of the surprising results you've got on the other side after two and a half months of landing on Planet Prosper. So the good, the funny thing is, is that I didn't have any expectations other than do what the coaching tells me to do. I didn't expect, dang, we ain't even been in three months. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I literally was expecting like, give it six months, man. Like, just relax. Give it, this is coaching. This isn't like. Like a one side up, up you, 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 you sign up and then everything changes. It's coaching, so it takes a while. So I was like, give it six months. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this should work. I mean, if he said, if this program is is what it it says it is, then I I should be fine. Um, but I I dove in like from the checklist from the moment they send you the email, like you need to do this, 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 and this, and this, and this. Like I I, I made it. And also, sidebar, I'm going to be transparent. I borrowed the money from my mom that they, they, they get in. You know, ladies Sorry, and gentlemen. I, I borrowed my money gentlemen. from my mom to get in. You know so, your dad's freaking broke when you're borrowing the money from mom and dad, right? At 36, you know, man. Like, mom, it doesn't get any worse than that, right? No. Nah. <laughs> my mom loved me, and she supports me, and she's like, oh, I know you're in the mortgage industry. And if and and the thing is, is that I was like, I don't know. I mean, I knew my parents had it, but I was like, eh, Doran's like, nah, you got to find a way. And I found a way. But it's like I, I felt bad asking my mom because why can't I come up with this myself? I'm a man. I'm still right. going to my mom in my mid-30s. To have her write me a check for something that I should be writing for myself, right? That is a problem. That that's yeah. a problem in and of itself. So that's I said, cold. this yeah. can never happen again. Yeah, yeah? That's never again, right there. Never again. And then my mom said, "You don't have to pay me back." I said, "Oh no, I'm paying you back. Mm-hmm. So not tenfold, fivefold. You know, I didn't tell her five. I'm looking. Well, I can't do ten. Yeah, I mean, I could, but I, you know, hold on. Then you know, thirty times ten. I don't want to do that, mom. But uh, some like, sugar daddy son benefits, though. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so, so, yeah, just full transparency, man. Asked the money from my mom. She didn't even ask it back. But that even made me hurt more. I was like, no, nah, I got to give it to you, man. And so, um, fast forward two and a half months. I'm still, I'm still, it's crazy. Like, dang, it ain't even been 90 days. Like, wow. But here was the catalyst, just a slight rewind, slight tangent. It was the testimonials that I read on your site before I even jumped on the call with you that I was almost, I was almost sold by the stories on the site. So you had Mm -hmm. thorough testimony. I watched every last one of them from the long, the 50 minute one to the 10 minute one to the five minute one, watched them all. I was like, damn, I'm like, yo, these people are having results. I'm like, either these people are lying, which they're not, or like they're really getting the results. I'm like, I don't know how much they paid this dude, 
because this testimony was legit. And if they were fake, I mean, hell, you got me. If you, I was like, if Doran get me, if, if I get got, then it is a damn good got because I ain't never seen him like this. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Damn good got right there. <laughs> damn good guy. You got me because I'm been, guy. Listen, I'm the say, you know, so, um, but all, all, all that to say to bring it back. Um, yeah, man, two and a half months in, uh, literally hit the ground running, did everything you told me to do. What is it? March. So 17th, 17th, the previous, I'm the only reason I've in full disclosure, the only, I missed one, uh, coaching money morning motivation call. Cause I was stuck on the side of the road with a flat tire and I was supposed to call in, but I couldn't cause I was trying to make it happen. My triple a wasn't renewed. Ah, uh, excuses, excuses, excuses. Right. <laughs> I love it though. You see how that love it. I probably could have made it happen. Like, hold on. AAA. I'm on hey, a call. There's always a way, man. There's always a way. Yeah, Borrow someone else, someone else's freaking mobile phone. Yeah, By the way, know, right. <laughs> whatever. It was hilarious. Though. I love it. See it's excuses. And I'm like, eh, nah, damn door. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you off the hook just this once. Yeah, fast forward. So I'm looking in like, so the last call we were on, because I want to get dates because people just, I want to give you specifics. So give me one second. I'm going to pull up the calendar. So I missed this Monday because of that. So I was on the previous Monday, the 8th. And then I don't know if you asked me then or on the 1st, but either the 1st or the 9th, I had, when we spoke, I had already made, and we're talking, this isn't like deals that are, like they're, they're supposed to close and they're in the pipeline, but you know, the, the appraisal hasn't been ordered, but I mean, they could close. I'm talking legit closed funded deals where commissions right. are either on the way or have already been sent out. I had made more in March. The month ain't over. This is just the first half of the month because I get paid on the 26th, by the way. From December, from when we started till now, I had made more in March than I have than I have made all last year. It's incredible. That is the truth. Yeah. And and guess what? And that's not a small amount, by the way, friends. No, 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 there's no, no. there's people that are happy to make that kind of income in a year, and he made it in the he's making it in the month of March. And then we keep talking about April. We, we might top. We might top March here in a minute. Oh yeah, man! You might as well get used to it. You haven't seen nothing yet. We're just getting yeah. warmed up. Right, right. So you haven't seen nothing yet. Absolutely, man. No, we we'll, can't do we'll this. Be, <laughs> we're taking you to six figures per month next, brother. You haven't seen nothing. We're just getting warmed up. Love it. But yeah, just full disclosure, we can't. I can't. Um, for the people watching, I can't disclose the amount for compliance. It's a hefty sum. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, hefty. <laughs> let's just call it sugar daddy money, right? <laughs> That lady, she's getting some bling on that ring, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even blink, for sure. Oh, yeah, man. So tell me, what are you most excited about now in your life? What's next for you? What are you most jacked and stacked about? It's been two and a half months on Planet Prosper. You're still sure. letting it in. You're still letting it into your consciousness. Like, yeah. this is actually your new normal now. What's got you most jacked and stacked? What's got you most excited now in your life? So obviously, obviously, and it's funny, people always think it's the money that, that, that you think that oh, if I, when I get the money, one, I, the thing is I was already there mentally, even though there were challenges. So let me just be clear. I was already where I wanted to be financially, mentally, but I just was like, eh, the check's being holed up. You know, it takes a little bit longer to, to deposit, you know, a hundred million dollars, you know, it takes some time, you know, That's right. It might um, be giving you know, birth to an elephant. It might take yeah, some yeah. time. Right. Some time, you know, hold up. Reddit funds readily available. So mentally, I was already there. One, two, the, I had the white hot burning desire. So when Doran said go, I went. I didn't question the coach who's been doing this and all the countless success stories from people. You can look on the site who've been zero to 93 million in volume. I'm like, what? I'm like, I'm a new guy. If this dude can do that, I, I mean, hell, if I do 20 million in volume in a year, I'm like, yo, it's a wrap. Right. So with your testimonials, I'm like, man, and it's not no no shot at anybody that you were looking at. I'm just looking at them. I'm like, if they could do it, I can, because I feel like I'm I feel like I'm one of the I feel like I'm a champion. I'm like Kobe Bryant, yeah. Michael Jordan. I'm like, if these jokers can do it, you know, say, hey, I can do it. And that's how Absolutely. I felt. Um, but the thing I'm most excited about is the next level in the stair step to your program. It's not the money. Because you get the money, you don't. It doesn't feel like anything. Because if you're already there mentally, you're just. It's like I've already been here. Like the feeling, I've already been there mentally. But it feels good though to be like, yeah, you know, the, it is a little bit of different, you know, you know, Mojo. 
Yeah. Swagger factor. Yeah, it's it's yeah. different. Um, but I'm also just being humble and I'm acting like like just relax, you know, save save stack. You know, because in more yeah. re reset every 30 days, baby, don't even get it mm -hmm. twisted. So mm -hmm. I'm excited about the possibilities and I'm excited to be able to graduate through the first initial. I, I feel like Dorn has great programs. I feel like this is my my bachelor's and I'm doing my, you know, oh, intro 101. And I feel like I, I'm excited about the graduation to the sophomore class. Um, I would consider that, I don't know, maybe like masters ish i'm not at the phd level yet but Black excited girl. about that that's got me if, if i'm allowed to i didn't know if we wouldn't but i'm yeah, excited man. absolutely to be able to stroll in and then be able to be on that next level and then honor to be selected to be a part of that because doran doesn't take everyone so people are just like oh you're selling something you may not even be a fit based on your yeah. attitude what you're doing and yeah, just how your overall businesses so you may not even be a fit so i felt a, at a fear of loss i feel yeah. humble to be aligned with the program. Well, I've been beyond blessed to be on the journey with you, brother, to just help you unlock the greatness, the champion within. It's just an absolute joy and pleasure to serve you on so many levels. The way you show up, coachable, committed, you know, the, you get me, you, you crack me up, you share awesome vulnerability on the Q&A calls of, of the trials, as well as the, the victories and the celebrations. You've just been bringing it real every step of the way. And uh, like I keep saying, you're just getting warmed up, brother. So I just can't wait to see what's next for you and to fan to flame uh, all that you're called to be and all that you're capable of being and have you just step into being a shining light in this industry and an absolute leader in this industry. And I have no doubt in a very short period of time, you will indeed be a shining star and leader in this industry. And uh, we're, st we're sending you stratospheric, brother. So delighted and excited to be part of the journey with you. And uh, for those of you listening and watching, if you're digging what we're laying down, you want to learn what was the secret sauce that sent Jelani Dorsey stratospheric, making more money in one month than he used to make in an entire year, I invite you to schedule a breakthrough call, just the same call that launched Jelani just two and a half months ago when sure. he was still in Struggle City, struggling to pay the bills, struggling to figure out how he's going to you know, close that next loan. And he's got his in, his inbox, you know, lighting up like a Christmas tree just while we're doing this uh, in, interview right. right now because, you know, he's blowing up and it's actually relatively simple once you know how to do it. If you'd like For to sure. learn, you know, uh, what that really takes, I invite you to book a call where we just have a chat, just a real chat and talk about where you're at, where you want to be, this <sighs> honest conversation. And uh, if we can help you create that breakthrough and bridge that gap, by all means, I'll show you what it looks like. If not, frankly, like Jelani said, we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services if we can't help you if we're the not, not the right fit. Either way, though, you leave the call with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll have some fun. All right, guys, so go ahead and book that if indeed you're defiantly committed to creating a breakthrough and you're ready to take things to the next level and just have an honest conversation, see what we can do for you. Jelani, I appreciate you. I salute you. I honor you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being the bright light that you are. Keep on shining. Keep bringing your best. Keep doing your best, brother, because we haven't seen nothing yet. You're just getting warmed up. I appreciate it, man. Uh, the honor is uh, all on this side. I really appreciate you. Um allow me to be a part of the program, man. Real, real deal. Mm. So over and out, Likewise, Captain. Man. <laughs> Likewise. I appreciate you. All right, guys. We've been with the one and only Jelani Dorsey. <laughs> and we've been sharing his story on how he took his annual income and made it his monthly income and how you guys can do likewise if you show up committed, coachable, and resourceful like he did. So again, if you want to book a call, book it at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. This is Doran Aldana with Jelani Dorsey coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. Thanks for hanging with us. Be blessed. We'll talk to you soon. Peace. Thanks for hanging with us, y'all. We'll see you on the next episode.